Okay, part C. Going to go very, very slow with the camera on my left hand. Okay. Starts out with just a D chord. Goes to a D7. And you can drop the D in your left hand because your right hand is going to play a D. All you're going to do is just go from your D in your left hand to the C. Just keep coming down one note. Then B minor. 5, 3, 1. Drop your D sharp because it's B minor. 5, 3, 1, B, D, F sharp. And then from there, go to an inverted G chord. So your G, B, D, and your D's at the bottom, 5, 2, 1 with the fingering. So here it plays. Right hand plays G chord, left hand plays G chord. Now the first time through, because uh, you're going to repeat after you do, do this part C here, you're going to repeat and go back to the beginning, play everything all the way through again. I don't always play the E minor chord right here. I just come right back to this part. D. Now you can jump back here again for your B minor chord, or you could do this. If you're playing a D chord like here, next chord after that is a B minor. You could just raise your thumb to the B right here, so the second line uh, part C is goes E minor. Play a C sharp by itself. Second time, play it with the A7. Play C sharp again. And then D. Roll your A7 chord. And you're all the way back to the beginning, except this time you're going to play the right hand up an octave, so it sounds. Now you notice this, when I'm playing the opening line, I move my fingers around in the left hand between the A and the F sharp. Sometimes I throw the D in there and it sounds like this. Or. That's moving all, th all three fingers, playing all notes of the D chord there. So just. I think that sounds nice to do it that way okay okay so here's part part b again the first oh, i'm sorry part c again first time all the way through d7 b minor g chord b minor e minor Okay, so now you're going all the way through again. You're getting the part C. It's going to start out exactly the same way, the first line. Then I go to the E minor chord right here. D, B minor, E minor. Everything's the same so far. Except that now the right hand's going to go to an A instead of a C sharp. And now you're going to invert the A chord in both hands, E, A, C sharp. Instead of A, C sharp, E. Right hand's playing E, A, C sharp, 1, 2, 4. Left hand is playing E, A, C sharp, 5, 2, 1. Go back to the A in your right hand. D chord. And your right hand's playing the F sharp, A, D, inverted chord. It's a D6. Left hand's just playing a regular D chord. Then you can go low. Okay, so once again, part C, second time through. Octave stretch. That's it.